Today I'm going to share with you a home DIY project that I did using the Arduino circuit board. I've installed LED strips behind the TV to act as the only ambient light in the room while I switch off the rest of the lights. The intention of the project is to only turn on the LED lights when the environment is dark enough and obviously I don't want it to turn on during the daytime. So the gist of it would be having the LED lights turn on only when the TV is on and the ambient light level of the room is low enough. To do this, I will need to use a light sensing circuit to detect the lights in the room. This is the circuit that I first came up with without using the Arduino circuit board. This is the plug-in of the power supply to the LED strips. The LED strip connected here to receive the power. This is connected to the LDR light dependent resistor to detect the light level in the room. So basically the LDR would act as a detector to tell the transistor whether to allow the flow of current from the power to the LED. At the presence of light, the LED will not receive any current from the power. And the reverse is true when there's an absence of light and the current is allowed to pass through. The issue I found with this circuit is that upon testing, most of the current has been drawn away from the LED lights when the circuit is being turned on. So even when the current does flow to the LED, only about 20 to 30 percent of the 1 amp has been transferred to the LED, resulting in a reduced brightness of the LED of about 70 percent. Obviously, this is not the result that I was targeting for, so I need to come up with another circuit that will provide a 1 amp steady current to the LED. To achieve that, I decided to go with a digital circuit that make use of Arduino circuit board. This is the testing prototype I have on the breadboard. The first chip on the left is the Arduino Nano Controller. The small chip at the top is the light density sensor. A LCD display just for the purpose of the testing and will not be there in the final version. Take note of the reading on the LCD when I cover the sensor with my finger. And this is when I try to shine a torch light into the sensor. At this point, the circuit is tested and ready to go, so I'm going to make a smaller version of it to be mounted behind the TV. I use a ready-made PCB board that was meant for prototype testing and also an IC slot for my Arduino Nano controller so in case of a replacement, it would be an easy job. Now all that is left to do is to solder the wire between the various components, namely the Arduino Nano Controller, the light intensity sensor, and a low voltage relay that will either close or open the circuit between the power supply and the LED strips. There were some changes in the wiring between the components as I was working through. So I'll not bore you with the process and I will fast forward right to the end result. And there you have it. This is the final version of the light sensing circuit board. Right here we have the Arduino Nano Controller, the Light Intensity Sensor, the Low Voltage Relay. The controller will send a signal to open or close the relay. This is a normally open circuit where it will close when the Arduino Nano Controller signals it too. The 1 ampere's 5 volt power supply will be on one end of the circuit with the LED strips connected to the other end. The white cable from the relay will open or close the circuit between the two. The next step will be to download the program that I have written for the Arduino Nano Controller. This is the LED strips that I mounted behind my 55 inch LED TV. The circuit is now mounted and ready to go. I'm very pleased with the result and the response time of the circuit and the accuracy of the light intensity in the room. I hope this will give you some idea on Arduino circuit and what you can do with your own house and inspire to do some projects of your own. I'll be thinking of more things that I can do with Arduino controller so if you're interested in it, please subscribe, like this video and stay tuned for more upcoming DIY projects. Until then, I'll see you again. Bye!